Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Pavin, an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. And I'm Adam Schultz, former indoor coach, current beach volleyball coach, and most importantly, Sarah's husband. We got the same intro twice in a row, but he added in the last name again. It's always a it's always a roll of the dice if he's gonna reveal his true identity or not, but today he chose to. Okay. Spur of the moment decision. <laughs> um, last episode, we had two sets of the Karasuno Seijo scrimmage. Split decision, which I was not expecting. We're heading into the third set, everybody. Um, Kindaichi, aka Turnip Head, had some not so nice things to say about Kageyama. Um, warranted though. Warranted. Based on his experience. Hinato was right there with him agreeing. Caught me off guard. Except Hinata was a fan of his sets and Kindaichi was not. For obvious reasons, king of the court. Um, first set was rough. Hinata was just in the way. It was embarrassing. <laughs> like, it, I did not envision it going so poorly. Like, I thought they were gonna just not be good enough to score points. But like, that was a yard sale. That was Hinata's second match of all time, and the first is debatable of whether it can even be called a match or not. That's fair. But so. like, think about your first game playing volleyball. Did you A, run into the ref stand? Did you B, knock over at least three players that I saw? And did you C, hit one of your teammates in the head? No to all of the above, but I will say once when I was in grade 10 gym class, a girl in volleyball unit, I was in position five and she was serving in position one and she hit me in the face. How is that possible? I was on her team. So it's a little reminiscent of that. Underhand? Uh, I think she tried overhand. Mm. Little side swipe action. It's tough. Um, we were left with a cliffhanger. Oikawa made an appearance and Adam was like, oh, who is that? Who is that? We will find out and we will see what Adam has to think of Oikawa. So today, we are watching season one, episode seven of Haikyuu called Versus the Great King. Any, any bubbling up of any feelings with that title? I mean. That was a really poorly constructed sentence, but. I understand what you're saying. Thank you. I, I feel like it's not going to go well and that he's going to struggle in some way lose his cool, it's gonna get tight in the third set. And, uh, Who's he? Uh, Kageyama. Kageyama. Yeah, we're getting there. Kageyama. And somebody's gonna get under his skin. And he's gonna make an error, I think. And, they're playing 15? I, I, can, I never know. I'm still confused about that most of the time, okay. if I'm being honest. If we're playing a 15 in the third set, I'm gonna say 15... Well, and what if we're not? And if we're not playing, <laughs> the only other option is 25, right? Yeah. <laughs> if they're playing at 25, 21. All right, you heard it here first, folks. 15, 12, or 25, 21. And it looks like Adam's interpretation of the title is about Kageyama. We will see. All right, here we go. Season one, episode seven of Haikyuu is coming right now. That's what your hair looked like when I met you. It's true. Are you kidding me? It's true. I like him more and more. 
攻撃もチームでトップクラスだと思います影山がここまで優先しあとすごく性格が悪いお前が言うほどに月島以上かもそれはひどいなお前の知り合いってことは北川大地のやつかはい中学の先輩です王様の先輩ってことは大王様やっほートビオちゃん、久しぶり。Looks like I was completely wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Revel in it. Oikawa was Kageyama's senpai in middle, middle school. Alright. So, does that mean that he learned? From him, he modeled his game after him. I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. Tobio chan, he's a shibri. Oh, got a ne. Genki, you all summer yatter? Or a sabo to broke a anusto me to avoid musta. She's you got so do this. Satsuji sabo no shiso. Kelo, you know, she I need to shoot you.
おいしいおいしいチャンスボールだきっちり決めなよお前らオーライまずいな今はブロックに一番高さがないローテーションだ聞いたねよし完全にブロックできるカンブロックなんでオーケーカンブロックカンブロックカンブロックカンブロックカンブロックカンブロックThere's going to be a lot of that, so get used to it. Uh, <laughs> what are your thoughts on Oikawa? I mean, small sample size, obviously skilled. I developed my opinion of him very fast. <laughs> and that wasn't like I'm bragging that I came to that conclusion. I. No, it's not bragging. We know that I like to pass judgment on characters quick. Um, I mean, obviously skilled, seems to be well respected by his teammates. Kagema doesn't like him, so I'm assuming he's super nice. Seems to be a fan favorite. I didn't see any flaws in the interactions that I saw so far. Well, I don't Are you serious right now? Hit me with your thoughts. Are you serious right now? The, this is the guy who just served. Do you like him? Well, why not? You weren't concerned at him just oozing, just like cockiness? Him just like trash talking in like a slimy, arrogant way? Being like, oh, you touched that. <laughs> I must have made it too easy for you. That didn't bother you. No, he just went off and ripped off like two aces, brought his team back into the game. He's clearly skilled. What do you expect? They're high school boys. I am speechless. To that conclusion. <laughs> I'm speechless. Do you want to know what I said in the first time I watched this one on that last attack? I had decided how I felt about Oikawa, so what did I scream? HIT HIM IN THE FACE! That seems a little extreme. Because I didn't like him and I wanted him to get hit in the face. Adam, he is like, you know what, fine. I'm not going to tell you how to act. What's wrong with having a little swagger if you're good? No. No, that's not what this is. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I am so thrown right now, I feel like I'm short circuiting. You grew up playing with boys. How does that not- Yes, I grew up playing with boys. Did you not see that all the time? I was better than- <laughs> Coming from two different positions, then. I am shocked. I can't even breathe. Give me a second to compose he didn't, myself. He didn't smack if talk anybody. If there was anybody, one thing in my first watch through that I was 100% sure of, it was how much I hated Oikawa. If there was one thing 
that the love house and the Haikyuu fandom knows about me is that the only redeeming quality I find in Oikawa is his glasses. And he's pretty good. That's it. I don't see Adam. it. Adam. I don't see it. I don't even know you. I've been married to you for over a decade. I don't even know you. To that conclusion. I don't understand what he did that was so bad. This is a marriage ender, okay? And it all ended because of IQ. Because Adam liked Oikawa on the first meeting. I didn't say, I, I just said, I don't know anything wrong and with And all of behavior. you out there, do not defend him. If I see anything in the comments being like, oh, Adam, yes, yes, you are so much, that is what we think. Sarah's an idiot because she, I don't want to see. What, do people generally dislike that character? Maybe not as much as me. <laughs> I don't understand what he did to deserve your ire. That, we're moving on, we're moving on. I can't, I can't talk about this. They're asking Takeda to coach them. えっと、僕はまだバレーボールに関して素人だけど、何か何かすごいことが起こってるんだってことは分かったよ。新年度になってすごい1年生が入ってきて、初めは一筋縄ではいかなくて、だけど今日分かった気がする。バラバラだったら
Did you cry? There was an understanding that happened there. Kaya was gonna apologize. He was. What? Well, he did apologize. Without actually saying the words, because Kendaichi was too proud to hear them. That's how guys do it. <laughs> I feel like I'm Hinata whenever we watch shows. A hundred percent. Like literally every single time we watch a show and something's happening and I'm like sobbing, I look over at him and I'm like, are you crying? Are you crying? And he's like, no. And I'm like, are you sure? He's like, I'm not crying. <laughs> So that reminded me of me. <laughs> You're also very animated when you watch shows, which also reminds me of Hinata. So I'm not a pure Kageyama, just for volleyball. Yeah. Um, yes, that was very powerful. Um, the other guy who was in the bathroom with him. Also a teammate. Kunimi. Kunimi. He also went to school with him. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got that. Part. That was a good moment. けど先生は入ってくれたけど正直<笑> You don't like this guy? <笑>あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、
Oh, really? Yeah. How many times did you go one on 12 finding the other team to tell them that you're gonna kick the crap out of them? Yeah, I, I How many that. times did you do that? I, no. I like how he pretended to think about it, like he had to think about no, it. No, but I think about like teams that I've coached where guys are like chirping through the net or talking during warm-ups or like, I, I just don't think it's that unusual. No, I'm sorry. Not true. Not like, maybe not like waiting in the parking lot with his arms crossed. Exactly, with like, and okay. his voice is slimy. Slimy voice. You don't see Tsukushima running into the bathroom to, to go like, try to put people down. You know, Tanaka's, whenever he's doing that, he's defending his teammates. Right, fair. We're gonna battle about this for like, the end of time, I think. I just don't think it's enough to hate him for it. Whoa. I'm not even gonna ask any of you to comment, just don't. Kageyama, <laughs> トスマッシュで飛ぶように叶うやつ。県内にはいないんじゃない。まあ、サーブもブロックもスパイクも負けないけどね。あ、行った。トスも負けないって言えよ。そういか。メセットだろうが。だってほんとのことだもん。だからこ
ちゃんとした飯を食え筋肉使えるぞ<笑>ほら<笑>ちゃんと飯食えよはい、はい、はい、坂の下商店。またあんたかよ。それにしてもよ。あの野草のサーブすごかったな。最初からあれやられてたらやばかったぜ。さすが影山と同じ中学の先輩。あれっていうか、影山ってなんで殺すのにいるんだっけ、うん、県内一の強豪つったら。やっぱ白鳥沢だろ白鳥白鳥沢っつ県ではダントツ全国でも必ず発狂には食い込む強豪校があんだよおお落ちました白鳥沢落ちた白鳥沢から推薦来なかったし一般で受けて落ちました試験は意味不明でしたあそこは普通に入ろうとしたら超難関だもんなへえ王様勉強は大したことないんだねで、なんで殺すのまさかお前も小さな巨人に憧れて引退した鵜飼監督が戻ってくるって聞いたから鵜飼無名だったカラスのを春高の全国大会まで導いた名将へえカラスのの鵜飼って名前がもう有名だったよな凶暴なカラス飼ってる監督だっつって23年生は去年少しだけ指導を受けたけどすげえスパルタだったぞなんで羨ましそうなんだよ鵜飼監督は本格的な復帰が決まってたんだけど倒れた今のところ復帰の予定はないんだすまんけど別にどの学校に入ったって戦う相手は同じ高校生で勝てない理由なんてない負け惜しみはよせカッコつけていっても無駄だ違いますよカッコもつけてません実際に今日4強に勝ったじゃないですかまああの正常に2対1俺もフリーで決められたしひなたのおとりのおかげだなあっアース本人的にはどうだったよデビュー戦は<笑>な一1セット目盛大にやらかしたけどね<笑>点と同じぐらい失点もしてんだから満足すんなよなんでそういうこと言うんだよそうなんだよ俺たちにはまだ色々足りてなくて今日の勝利もギリギリだったい,いっぱい練習しますそう、うん、個人のレベルアップも大事だなけど今のカラスのには根本的にメンバーが足りてないんだよあそうですよね守備の要のリベロそれと一人で敵の3枚ブロックと勝負できるエーススパイカーエースなら俺がだからおめえは最強のおとりだってんだろでも守護神が戻ってくるって言ってましたよねうんうちは強豪じゃないけど特別弱くもない今までだって優秀な人材はいたはずなのにその力をちゃんとつなげてなかった<笑>でもまたみんなが揃ってそこに1年生の新戦力も加わってその戦力ちゃんと全部つなげたら夏のインターハイ全国がただの遠くの目標じゃなく現実につかめるものにきっとなる夏のインターハイ聞いたことあるけどそのこれから戻ってくる人は今までどうしてたんですかうんああ1週間の自宅謹慎と約1ヶ月の部活禁止だったんだえ不良不良ちげえよあれはなちょっと熱すぎるだけなんだよいいやつなんだよマジで田中さんに熱すぎるって言われるとかだけど<笑>それにあいつはな<笑>カラスので唯一天才と呼べる選手だま今はクソのマイキな影山が入ってきたから唯一じゃなくなったけどね<笑>そいつが戻ってきたら先輩って呼んでやれよ、ひなた。田中みたく、バカ喜びすると思うから。バカとか。守護神か。どんな人かな。入ってくぞ。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。は
the seniors know, seniors, vets, senpais, know that there's still work to be done. A good analysis of the team. For from, snacks. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, I remember you used to go to McDonald's after club practice. Combo, extra, extra hamburger, and then a uh, blizzard, or a blizzard, my favorite. McFlurry. McFlurry. Your mom let you do that? We were driving at that point, no choice. You went to McDonald's ev after every club practice? I didn't say every club practice. When we practiced in one spot, there was a McDonald's across the street. Oh, I was never allowed to do that. You weren't allowed to do anything. That's not true. You weren't allowed to date me. Anyways, um, yes. Kageyama and Hinata seem very happy with themselves. Daichi is a little more grounded, a little more level-headed, understanding the bigger picture. And he's their only receiver. Um, I mean, that, that we know of. Yeah, he's the one who definitely stands out. I guess Tanaka's a receiver, but he's like a left side. He's fine. Yeah. Um, so Takeda's working on getting a coach. Yep. Yeah. We have a player coming back. Yep. Yeah. Who was suspended. That was my initial instinct too. What do you mean? That the player coming back had been suspended. Oh, that's why you there. That's what you thought before they even said mm -hmm. it. Why didn't you say anything? No, no, no. No, I don't believe you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, so you couldn't guess what he was before, but he is the only other genius other than Kageyama. So that's a big compliment. But I'm like, curious what position he's gonna play. I think his name will make sense when you meet him. sense that he's a little crazy. Most liberos are a little crazy. I apologize. But most liberos are it's true. Crazy. You gotta be in a special headspace. What is an equivalent position in another sport? A goalie. <laughs> liberos are like the hockey goalies. They're a little tweaked. And I say that in the nicest way possible. But like to put yourself in the position to just get pelted with balls, like there's something there. You're different. I will say the only thing I don't like about the goalie comparison is that like goalies get credit when they do really good things and liberos never get credit no. for anything. You don't notice a really good libero, but you definitely notice a bad libero. Oh, a hundred percent. But like, when a goalie makes an incredible save, like everybody gets up off their feet. When the libero passes a great ball, like they're supposed to, and it's like, yeah, that's your job. Like, that's true. They, don't get, they don't get a lot of love unless they're making like a ridiculous one-handed dig or like taking one off the chest. It's true. It's a tough position. So, no, is that the guardian deity? Gotta be. Gotta be. <laughs> the guardian of the floor doesn't let the ball hit the floor. I love how they both messed up Kageyama's target serve. I can understand his frustration. Like that is probably so annoying. In his brain, he's probably not allowed to leave the gym until he hits the water ball. <laughs> so we have something to look forward to. We love meeting a new character, okay? Put him so on that draft board. We got to meet Oikawa. 
We are not gonna talk about Oikawa any further today. Polarizing figure. That conversation is closed. We'll we'll Until dive in another day. Now we get the cliffhanger of figuring out who this guy is. So this guy and then the coach potentially coming. Are they gonna get the what did they call him? Ace. No, but the of crows. U Uko Ukai? Yeah. No, because the Kageyama said he came to Kirasuno because he heard Coach Ukai was coming out of retirement and right. then the first day he showed up to the school, Suga told him he got sick and collapsed. So, so he's not coming back. So it's not the guy the manager's trying to bring back. We have to, we're gonna find out. All right. All right. Um Okay, this was a spicy episode. I did not expect this. Um, thought it was gonna be casual. Thought we were gonna walk away from this recording as friends. We are not. Um, <laughs> I- It's news to me. I never expected this episode to go this way. I thought we were thick as thieves. I thought we were on the same wavelength. We are in different galaxies. So, I'm okay. I'm beginning to doubt that you grew up playing sports around boys. Why would I lie about that? Why? I don't know. Why would I lie about that? I'm just he doesn't know anything about you're me. You're accepting. The, the behavior seems very normal to me. He's wrong. So, so, we got a little boost of confidence for the team. Daichi is bringing everybody back down to earth. We've got some domestic disturbances happening <laughs> about Oikawa, but we're also excited about this new character. So, if we haven't scared you off already, see you next week. Um, hit us up with your comments, but only comments that basically say that Adam's wrong because we'll we know. <laughs> Um, You're yes. just gonna delete any of the other ones and I want no, you to read them. No, I don't delete them. Spitball and KT delete them. <laughs> um, They're but on no, Sarah payroll and keep them clean for you. But no, seriously. If you're still here and we didn't scare you with our Oikawa argument, we would love to hear your thoughts. We would also love it even more if you would like this video and subscribe to this channel and stay tuned because we may or may not come back. <laughs> this could be the deal breaker. So you might never see us again. Thank you, it was nice knowing you. And we may or may not see you next week. Okay, bye. bye.